they are a key component of keeping this city moving. But during this pandemic, some taxi drivers say they feel like they're being put at risk of contracting the virus, picking up and dropping off COVID-19 passengers without knowing it. I get worried uh, not knowing who is in the car. In Anthony Dobey's 25 years as a cab driver, he has never asked himself so many questions about his passengers. Who is he picking up? Where have they been? And why aren't they wearing masks or gloves during a pandemic? I've taken people to uh, the hospitals and picked people from hospitals. These fears are common industry-wide. Beck Taxi says there is a lack of transparency coming from the city's messaging with little regard for the safety of drivers, adding that public health was at one point advising people who were getting tested for the virus to either get a ride from friends or family or take a taxi. But taxi drivers were rarely alerted to the potential risk, some finding out much later that passengers tested positive for COVID-19. The way we're giving them the choice of picking people up with or without masks, they should be given that sort of information that, that people are symptomatic or testing positive. Four Beck taxi drivers have tested positive for COVID-19. The company's operations manager says they know at least one of the cabbies didn't contract the virus while driving. In recent weeks, Christine Hubbard has publicly addressed this issue, asking for clear and ongoing instructions. What instructions are people who are leaving assessment centers or hospitals receiving? Why aren't they being asked how they're getting home? And what safety instructions are they getting if they need to take a cab? If you have to, and you're symptomatic or you believe that you might test positive, disclose to the provider because we will ensure that we're sending someone with a shield who knows, I really believe these people deserve, these drivers deserve to have that information too, to make sure that they're doing everything they can. Toronto Public Health and the city say ideally people would get rides from family members or friends, but it's not always possible. The best thing to do is to use a cloth mask or a face covering so as to minimize the likelihood of transmission of your germs to somebody else. We don't run those assessment centres. I gather we've been in communication with them because we think it is fair that they should make it very clear when someone orders a cab that uh, the person might have uh, COVID-19. Taxi drivers are municipally regulated. You know, these assessment centres are in Toronto. Like, come on, stop passing the buck. Like, I don't want to hear, I don't want to have to talk to 14,000 different people um, about, about doing the right thing. Toronto Public Health adds that if you are taking a taxi, make sure that you are recording the driver's information as well as the company they're with. Christine Hubbard says traveling with Beck Taxi is safe. They're taking a number of precautions, including continuous cleaning of vehicles. They have shields in the cars and they are limiting the number of passengers per trip. For City News, I'm Faisa Amin.